When I went home this Diwali, one of my neighbor who's also preparing for NEET came to me and asked, "Bhaiya, what did you do after this time from Diwali till NEET? Around 6 months are left, and what should I focus on now?" So I shared with him exactly what I did, the 6 golden points that made all the difference for me. And in this video, I am going to share exactly the same 6 golden points with you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Madhav Tripathi, a second year MBBS student at Government Medical College Neemach. Before we start let me tell you right here that in this video I am not going to share some magical tips or tricks that will help you clear your NEET exam so you can just skip the video if you are expecting that I am just going to share my genuine experience in this video this video is for everyone whether you are a dropper or a class 12 student who have just finished their class 12 syllabus and now you will be going to cover your 11th class syllabus and definitely for droppers because i am going to share my personal experience as a dropper and also in the last of this video i have a special giveaway for you so watch the video till the very end firstly i told him what was my basic plan during this time my entire plan for last 6 months was divided into three parts a broad target small targets and some micro targets the broad target was very simple that i have to finish my entire syllabus before the end of january and the small targets were my weekly goals that what i had to do in that week to stay on track and the micro targets were my daily goals i had around 80 chapters to cover in total and i calculated that if i just do one chapter in a day covering its theory part question practice along with its pyq I'll be able to complete my whole syllabus within 90 to 100 days easily, leaving 10 to 20 days spare for extra revision. This plan gave me direction and confidence. Instead of worrying about the huge syllabus, I just focused on what I have to cover today. Second thing is how I was able to focus on my studies. Initially, staying focused was very tough, but I made some strict rules for myself. I completely stopped using social media, no Snapchat, no Instagram, nothing. I didn't used to go out to have fun, to attend family functions or anything like that. But to avoid burnout or boredom, I used to spend 30 to 45 minutes to any activity that I used to like. For example, cooking, listening to music, bhajan, anything that was non-addictive and did not give me an instant dopamine rush. These small breaks helped me recharge and stay consistent without losing my focus. The next thing is how I covered my entire syllabus effectively before the end of January. I kept my resources fixed and didn't run after many books. For biology, I just used NCERT for theory, and for question practice, I used some NCERT-based question books. which used to cover questions like similar to that of asked in neat for example uh, matching questions assertion reason questions multiple statement questions and i used to do 30 to 35 years of pyq on the same day and for chemistry in inorganic chemistry i again just use ncert for theory and for organic chemistry ncert along with some short notes that i prepared for the important reactions given in ncert along with some key mechanisms For physical chemistry I followed my coaching notes and watched some lectures and also made some short notes which included formulas trends and examples I practiced MCQs from module NCERT based question and then moved to PYQs and for physics I watched lectures made my own short notes solved standard books along with previous year questions and made some short notes that used to include formulas and some special cases that were previously asked or might be asked in the future and through all this I maintained daily consistency I did not used to take random breaks of one or two day i used to complete at least one chapter in a day covering its theory part question practice along with its pyqs well, and the next thing is how i was able to do multiple revisions while covering my syllabus i used to give one mock test on every sunday that was a minor test which used to include around 8 to 10 chapters so during that week i used to revise those same 8 to 10 chapters and also before every test i used to revise my mistake notebook that i prepared from my previous mistake in the question practice or other mock tests by following this revising 8 to 10 chapters in a week my whole syllabus got revised in just about 2 months and that's how i managed multiple revisions early on and after completing my syllabus i used a totally different strategy which i'll be telling in this video later the next thing is what was my approach for mock tests my main focus in mock tests was never my marks or my rank it was just the analysis of that test so after giving that mock test i used to spend 3 to 4 hours in the analysis of that mock test if my marks were low i used to find out what was my mistake was it because of my silly mistakes or lack of concept or lack of revision or i was not able to keep myself calm in the exam hall identifying the exact reason behind my low marks helped me improve with every test and that's how my mock test became the most important learning tool in my new journey and the last thing is what i did after finishing my complete syllabus by the end of january my syllabus was done and in february i focused mainly on revision and started giving full syllabus mock tests in february i was able to revise the whole syllabus at least once or twice and i started giving one full syllabus mock test every week in march i balanced revision and testing so i started giving two to three mock tests every week and used to analyze and revise in the remaining days 
and by april i was totally comfortable with the pattern so i used to give one mock test daily and in the later half of april i started giving even two tests in a day and the analysis of those mock tests was my only revision during april and those mock tests itself were my question practice during these 3 months i also did something that i recommend every neat aspirant must do i appeared for both of the je main session that happened in january and april definitely not to take admission in btech because i did not opt for mathematics in class 11th and 12th but to experience the real exam environment the pressure the surrounding and everything else and yes je mains physics and chemistry questions are easily doable for neat aspirants too and just to prove this i'll attach my je mains score card right here in this video you can check it out yourself so if you are preparing for neat definitely appear for je mains just to experience the real exam environment so yeah these were the six golden points that i followed in the last six months of my neat preparation nothing fancy just discipline focus and smart consistency and if you are 6 month away from your neat trust me you have got a lot of time to make a big difference just work on your basics stay consistent and believe in the process and you will definitely make it and now for those of you who have watched till the very end i've got a special giveaway for you guys i am giving away my personal neat ug study material which includes my handwritten short notes my ncert book highlighted and marked with pyqs a few reference book that i followed and even my coaching modules if you need them too to participate simply comment your dream rank in the comment section and the comment which gets maximum likes in 10 days will be the winner exactly 10 days from today i'll announce the winner and i'll personally courier all of my study material directly to your home so drop your dream rank in the comment section and share this video with your friends and make them like your comment and let's see who wins this giveaway thank you so much for watching the video till the end all the very best for your neat ug journey stay consistent focused and you will definitely make it